There's no real way to know, but Dr. Jeremiah Johnston definitely wants to represent a possible ex explanation as a plausible explanation. However, there are several reasons why you would not want to consider this to be the image of a first century Jewish man. First of all, the bloodstain patterns are unrealistic. Forensic studies done on the shroud have shown that there are inconsistencies with the blood flow, and the side wounds appear to be artistically placed rather than gravity driven, suggesting that they were painted painted or applied post-mortem. The lack of smearing or disturbance of blood clots, despite the fact that the body had been removed from the shroud, contradicts natural wound mechanics, implying that the stains were intentionally created. Next, the shroud's depiction of a bearded, long-haired man with a middle part is more indicative of medieval European iconography rather than first century Jewish burial practices. The image's resemblance to Byzantine era artistic representations of Jesus dating back to 550 CE suggests that it was modeled after existing religious art rather than an actual corpse. While proponents of the shroud's authenticity argue that it accurately shows crucifixion wounds, critics will note that medieval artists could have recreated those wounds with the contemporary medical knowledge they had, or they could have just used the depictions of Roman crucifixions. Additionally, the 5 foot 11 height seems to exceed the general height of a first century Jewish man, which was around 5'5". 